Over the last week or so, I've had roughly a handful of people reach out to me. And these folks have been asking questions, all of the the same general nature. And the questions really boil down to three things. Do I plan to stop displaying graded comics? Do I plan to stop grading my comics? And do I plan to stop buying graded comics? The long and short of it is no. Reggie here, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to talk about graded comics. Now, let me say from the top, this is not a defense of CGC, not in any way, shape, or form, but it is an articulation of how I am thinking about the comic book market. My hope is maybe you'll agree with me, maybe you won't. Either way, I encourage you to sound off in the comment section and share your thoughts. But as I mentioned in the intro, I've had a handful of people reach out to me asking about graded comics, you know, asking whether I'm going to stop buying, stop grading, stop displaying. And the answer is no. No, I'm not. I am not going to make any type of irrational decisions, right? I, I think people are swept up in their feelings. They are swept up in emotion and they are making all kinds of irrational statements and they are taking all kinds of irrational steps. And I would encourage people to pump the brakes. Pump the brakes, slow down and think about what you are doing. I still remain committed to the hobby of comic book collecting. I am committed to buying comics, reading comics, and enjoying comics. And that potentially means that I will be doing that with, with raw comics and also with graded comics, right? I've had some people say to me that they intend to crack out their CGC comics and resubmit them to CBCS. I've had people say that they are going to, because they're so disappointed, crack out their CGC books and just return them to their raw state. At the end of the day, you should do with your collection what you will. But I will tell you as far as I'm concerned, I won't be doing that. <laughs> I like there is no way that I spend good money on a graded comic to crack it out and send it to another grading company. There is no way that I will do that. And I'm not doing it because of the most recent scandal. And I certainly didn't do it a few years ago with the various waves of people trying to help CBCS out by cracking out CGC books and sending them to CBCS to be graded. And those people um, that were essentially trying to test the grading systems of the two companies. That to me was always a huge waste of money and I am not a huge fan of wasting money, time, or effort. So I won't be doing that. I am keeping my comics as they are and I will still be buying comics just like I was before. Should people stop and look at this, this scandal for what it really is? They absolutely should. If you look at it from a rational standpoint and you decide that you no longer want to use a particular grading company, I'm cool with that. I think that that makes sense. If you decide that you want to use CBCS because of their case, because of their label, because of the services that they offer, because of the more aggressive stance that they have decided to take against CGC. Mm. Have you guys seen this? If you just prefer them, I am cool with that. I think that it makes great sense. I have always and consistently been a fan of people doing what is in their best interest from a, a logical standpoint, right? If you think through it and you make a decision, then you should do that thing. It's your money. It's your collection. But a rational behavior, that's where I just want to say, hey, you might want to stop and think about what you're doing, what you're saying before you do something that you might you might regret. Or, may, hey, look, if you have just a ton of money and you just want to just waste it, go for it. Look, I will buy any of your books that you no longer want for pennies on the dollar. If you are so against CGC, I will buy those books. I will make the sacra. Don't be irrational. Don't be irrational. Make smart decisions. And at the end of the day, 
If you decide to go with one grading company or another grading company, or you decide you're not going to grade comics at all, I'm cool with that. But let's also not forget that every single, I think, except for EGS, every single grading company has had some type of scandal. And I'm not trying to compare scandals. They're all bad, a sin is a sin, right? But we've had grading companies that have lost hundreds of books, some that have had verifications of signatures that were proven to be fakes, literally documented by the person that was faking it. We've had uh, books be you know switched up and reholded. We've had all kinds of crazy stuff. We've also had scandals with raw books as well. We have people that were making fake books. They were making fake books and then encapsulating those fake books. Like there's all kinds of shenanigans happening out there. There are all kinds of bad actors that are trying to separate you from your money. This most recent one, terrible. Let, let, let's be completely honest. And my hope is that CGC is going to continue addressing this challenge. My hope is that they are going to figure out some way to make their case uh, less uh, tamper or make it more tamper resistant. That That is my hope. My other hope is that CBCS continues to aggressively go after CGC. If you saw my most recent reel on YouTube and Instagram, I absolutely applaud them for their more aggressive stance because in my opinion, in the end, we as consumers, we as collectors will win. It'll push CGC to be better. CBCS will continue to get better. EGS also might get some opportunities. Maybe they'll pick up some business. Same thing with PGX. I love competition. And so my hope is that all of these companies continue to fight tooth and nail for every advantage that is afforded to them because in the end, we are the ones that are actually going to benefit. With that said, I'm gonna wrap this video up. And again, I am not trying to tell you what to do with your money. That is not what I do. I am not trying to tell you what to think or how to behave or which grading company to use. If you choose to use no grading company, again, as I've stated before, I am perfectly fine with that. Your money, your decision. But I am gonna wrap this video up. If you enjoyed the video, I definitely want to encourage you to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. If you wanna leave a comment behind, please do that as well. And if you wanna reach out to me, you can do it on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. This thing on, mic check. I just wanna make sure y'all can hear me clearly. Yo, should you practice art or should art be your practice? I had a question so I asked it, not to anyone specifically, but to my inner God, you know? The one that's gonna be a master, the one that's more than a rapper, the one that's an educator, the one that seeks enlightenment. He travels with concepts, he's got the mindset expansive. He understands that it's time combined with travel and concepts, makes his mind convex. Sort of like when you look at a brain scan, straight off meditation, we was concaving until we had that eternal dialogue that created our dialect. Now we in distinct rooms of pure souls, having them conversations, synergy and combination.